Hi, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. Colossians 3, verses 16 and 17. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. You might not know it, but American Idol, the TV show, has been renewed for another season. The judges are coming back. I don't know if you even care, but if you've ever seen the show, you maybe know how it goes. They choose the best singer based on listening to them, how good they sound, how good they look. And if you ever listen to the winner sing at the end of the show, you can tell that person has a lot of talent. They've had to practice for hours on end. They have to be able to perform well even when they're standing in front of people. Sometimes the show is kind of funny because singers think that they're better than they are. God listens to us when we sing his praises. What's he listening for? Well, our verse says we are to sing with gratitude in our hearts. Thankfulness. Sounds easy. You don't have to have any talent to be thankful. It doesn't matter at all how much you practice. And if you get nervous and sing badly, he's not going to count it against you. The problem is we like to think that we are better than we are at praising God. If we went to church and sang a hymn, we figure that's good enough. God must be very happy with me because I went to church. But what about the thankful hearts? It might be funny when someone makes a bad audition on American Idol, but there's nothing funny about being judged by the Lord. In fact, the sin in our hearts is so serious and so deadly that God the Father sacrificed his only son to take it away. Think about that. Not only has God forgiven all the things you and I have said wrong and done wrong, all the sins that make us ashamed in front of other people, he's forgiven also the sins that nobody in the world could see but him. He's forgiven your sinful, selfish heart and the sins of thought and attitude that make you ashamed before him. All are forgiven in Jesus our Savior. None of us is talented enough to stand in front of God, our judge, and pass his thankfulness test. None of us could ever practice enough to make it. But look at what God has done. He made us winners by making his son Jesus our savior from all sin, even our sin of lack of thankfulness. And that forgiveness is what puts the thanksgiving back in our songs. And not only in our songs, Paul says, whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. You and I might not be able to win American Idol, but every time you sing songs and hymns in church, in fact, in everything you do, you can pass God's test with flying colors because of Jesus. He's your Savior. So let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, and the thankfulness will be there. We'll see you next time.